Hey everyone, it's Erin. I'm really excited to be doing this video for you guys today. Um, I've kind of taken some time to think about what I wanted to put in this video and how I kind of wanted to do this um, series and a ton ton of gurus are doing um, these videos right now but I think it's good because everyone has different ideas and today I'm going to be doing the holiday gift guide for women. So I'm going to start off with the women and then I'm going to do the men because I have to kind of think a little bit more um, about the men and then I'm going to do um, an inexpensive one. I'm going to do probably one that's like gifts for like $20 or under or something like that. Whatever you guys choose. If you guys want me to do like $10 or under, I can try to do that, but it's a little bit harder to do. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I feel like I'm not really centered here. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm just going to move my camera because there, that's much better. Okay, so the first thing, oh, I don't know why it's doing that. I want to point down more. Alright, so the first thing that I have is this e.l.f., this eyes, lips, and face palette. And this is by e.l.f., obviously. And this is a great gift for someone that is a makeup lover or someone that doesn't have um, a huge collection of makeup yet and is just like starting to think about um, collecting makeup or they're interested in um, trying a lot of different eyeshadows or just having like something like this so when they travel they can just bring this and that's it. So this is what this looks like. I'm actually pretty sure I got this last Christmas. Or it might have been another one, I can't remember. Anyways, this is what this one looks like. And this has a lot of neutral colors on this side here. But then it also has kind of some shimmery colors and some purples and blues on the other side. So I think that it is a perfect palette because it has both. So you can do like a smoky eye with the colors down around here. And then you can do a more neutral color with the um, peachy kind of colors on the other side. Sorry, I'm like pointing to the wrong side. Anyway, so I think this is a really great um, deal. It's very inexpensive. I think I paid like less than $10 for this at Winners. Now, if you don't have Winners, because um, I'm pretty sure Winners is a Canadian company, um, I would suggest maybe Target. I'm not sure if Target sells e.l.f. products or not, um, but I, know, I do know that it can't be any more than $10 in the States because it is about $10 Canadian for this. So that's the first idea. And then the second thing that I have, this, not everyone's going to like this, but this is just an example um, of something you can get for someone. Someone that is um, like a TV series, like a box set lover, people that like to watch um, DVDs like I do. A lot of times I would rather just sit and watch um, like a series of something than watch what's on TV because sometimes there's like really nothing good on TV. So one of my favorite shows is Big Bang Theory. And this season, I believe, was $30, um, depending on the season. Um, like, the first seasons of series are usually cheaper. And then as they go up, like, the newer ones, then they're more expensive. So this was the second season. This one was around $30. So a little bit more expensive. The makeup was $10, and this is about $30. But if you know it's a set that they really, really like, and they're going to watch all the time, I think box sets are definitely worth the money because you watch them over and over and over again. I do anyways. So this is just one example. Um, you would have to kind of know the person pretty well to know like what kind of um, TV series they like. But I know that my dad really likes this show. So for his birthday, I got him the first season and he loved it. So if you have a good idea of what people like to watch on TV, um, and you've like been at their house enough to kind of know what series or seasons they have, then this is a really good idea. And it's not too expensive, $30 for a gift. Okay, and then this idea, um, I definitely recommend this idea for people that you don't really know what to get. Or if you are buying for a couple, like you're, let's say you're a couple and you're buying for another couple and you're buying them a gift together, but you don't know what to get them and you don't want to buy them like something household that's boring and they probably have already gotten for like wedding gifts or things like that. I think a really good idea is a gift certificate to a restaurant. This me and my um, hubby got last year. This is not the actual gift certificates we've already 
already used them, obviously, but this is just the casing of it. And this is just from a local restaurant near our house called Steakenstein. And this came with $30, I believe, and free coupons. So I think we actually used it on two separate occasions because I think we went for breakfast and we didn't use it all, I don't think. And then we went out again and we kind of put that towards our meal again. So I think a really good idea when you don't know what to get for a couple or even for an individual person is a gift certificate to a restaurant because everyone likes to go to eat. People have the nights where they don't want to cook and they don't want to have to do dishes and things like that. So you could just pick um, a restaurant, kind of like, it's probably good to just kind of pick a family restaurant, like one that they've heard of before so they, they will know that they like the food. So yeah, I think that this is a really good idea and I do not complain at all. If people don't know what to get me for Christmas, then get me a restaurant gift certificate. Okay, and then I have um, a few candles here. Obviously you wouldn't, I don't know if you would just give someone just a candle, but this is like kind of like an idea to put with something else. So I just have two of the new Bath and Body Works candles, the Christmas scents, and I have, this one is called Spice, and I have burnt this a few times, and I need to trim that wick down because it looks awful. This smells so good. It smells like cinnamon, but then there's also something else in there. Um, I thought that it said what was in their candles, but it doesn't. It doesn't on this part anyways. Anyways, this smells, it does smell like cinnamon, but there's other spices in there. Like I feel like there might be like nutmeg and a few other things in there, maybe like cardamom. Kind of smell that. So someone that you know really likes spicy cinnamon type scents, they would really like this. And also this comes in full size. So that's one idea and then this is actually a gift for someone to go with a gift. I'm not just giving them this, it's to go with their gift. And this is the Frosted Cranberry Candle from Bath & Body Works. And I obviously haven't used this because it's for a gift. And this smells like cranberry. It smells identical to the Body Shop's cranberry scent, if you know what that smells like. I'm sure there's undertones of other things in here. And not just cranberry, but that is the main scent that you smell when you sniff this candle. Okay, and then I have, I guess I'll do the tea thing next. Um, I just thought of this idea myself. Um, this idea is kind of for like someone that you know is like a tea drinker, a coffee drinker that likes to drink hot drinks. Um, this is kind of an inexpensive thing to do, but it looks it's a really nice gift. I think it's really thoughtful. So the first thing here that I have is just a set of really nice mugs. And I'll just take one out so you can see what it looks like. So this is just what they look like. They're just a white mug, but then they have like a brown kind of trim on it that looks kind of faded around the rim. Anyway, so this is a set of four mugs. And this is from a pretty good store um, that is in my area called Stokes. And these mugs were originally only $9 and I got them for $2. So $2 for these mugs. And then I got these cute little um, teapots. They're plastic. And what you do with these is you lay your spoon on them. So when you're like stirring your tea or your coffee or hot chocolate, so instead of putting your spoon down on like someone's coffee table or someone's counter, um, you can lay your spoon on here. Or if you're drinking tea and you want to take your tea bag out, you can lay your tea bag on these. And I got these 50% off. So these were two something, 244 for these. And there's four of them. So that's that. And then, depending on what they like to drink, if they like to drink coffee, you could get them a bag of coffee. And like, just you can choose whatever um, price range you want to choose for the coffee. But so far, we're only at like $5 for both of these things. So if they're a hot chocolate lover, then you can go and go to like, you know, a nice um, coffee place near your house and pick out a hot chocolate 
that you think they would like. I don't know if I just said coffee, I meant hot chocolate. A hot chocolate that you think that they would like and you can put it with these other things. So then you can give them the mugs and these and then the hot chocolate or if they're a coffee drinker, buy them the coffee or if they're a tea drinker, you can buy them the tea to go with it. And it's like a really cute gift. It shows that you know you really you know what they like and things like that. Kind of like a really personalized gift, but very inexpensive if you can get the stuff on sale. So yes, that's that gift. And then I have um, a perfume here. This is another great gift for a girl. Um, sometimes it can be hard to pick out scents um, for people, but um, I find if you are gonna pick out a scent for someone, pick pick out a scent that's kind of light and not too strong, not too much floral or too much fruity or something like that. Pick out kind of what's in between so that way they'll like the scent. Like make sure it's not too strong. And I think this is a perfect one. And this is one I'm like, it looks like I've barely used any, but it's a huge bottle. And this is by Sex in the City and it's called Love. And the, bo the bottle is kind of tacky, I realize, but it's a nice soft smelling perfume. So I think this is a really good idea. So if you're looking for a perfume that is kind of um, a lighter scent that's not gonna be too overpowering for someone, this is a really good idea. And I believe this was somewhere between $25 and $30. So this is also pretty affordable. I don't really have anything here that's really expensive. I think the most expensive thing I have is $30. So perfume. And then the last thing I believe I have, oh no, I have two more things. I have, first I have some, just some products from the body shop. Um, I just have two here. I have, this is one of their new Christmas scents. It's called Candy Ginger. And I would suggest like buying like a set. If you're only buying the person one thing, then I wouldn't just suggest buying them, you know, one bottle of candy ginger shower gel. I would suggest like buying a set. Um, but these scents are amazing and the body shop is really good quality and most people know what the body shop is. So when you're giving them the product, they know it's like a high quality product versus like something you just picked up at Walmart or something like that. They know that body shop is a good product. And if I get a, uh, a gift set from the body shop for Christmas, I would be thrilled because I know that it's a really good product. So that's just one example of something from the body shop. And then this is just something, um, m more of their older um, gifts, not gifts, products. And this is their strawberry shower gel. So you could buy them like the strawberry shower gel and like the strawberry soap, strawberry lip gloss and like a loofah or something. Okay. And then the last thing that I have is, this is a perfect gift if you know someone really likes to entertain, someone that has um, people in a lot to their house. Um, and it is a fondue set. And this is just from the same store that I showed you the mugs from. This is from Stokes. And um, a lot of people do have fondue sets, but I have had fondue sets that have cracked. So I suggest buying one that's of pretty good quality. You don't want to kind of skimp on um, buying it. I can't remember. How, this one was probably around $20, but you can get them for like $8. I wouldn't suggest spending $8 on a fondue set because it's going to crack. So I would suggest going out and spending a little bit more money. Um, this gift, again, is like you have to kind of know the person well enough to know if they own one. Um, but if it's someone that you know that really likes to entertain and that doesn't have one, this is a perfect gift. And then you also can buy them like the chocolate to go with it, like some really nice chocolate um, to go with it. You obviously can't buy them the fruit because that's going to spoil, but you could buy the chocolate to go with it. So yeah, that is my last idea. Oh, I can't believe this video is over already. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had fun putting it together and deciding what I was going to put in this video. So the next video that will be up will be what to buy him, the man in your life, your husband, your brother, your whatever, boyfriend, um, your dad. So that will be the next video that I put up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.